Hi all. Today we will take a look at the inject function which was introduced in Angular 14. So this inject function provides an alternative way in which we can inject our Angular services as dependency within various parts of our application. So here I have created an Angular 14 application. Normally in our Angular components when we need some dependency which usually is a service we provide that within the constructor of our component and angular will be automatically injecting these dependencies into our component so the inject function provides an alternate way in which we can inject these dependencies the inject function works only in an initialization context one place is within the constructor of the component Another place is where we define our properties. So first let us see how we can make use of the inject function within the constructor. So as the first step we can move these two private properties from the constructor and move it to the property section. So we have the login service and the router. The logger service which is not a private property and used only locally within the constructor we can move it at a later point of time. So currently, let's make use of the inject function to get the login service and the router. So we have the this dot login service. We can make use of the inject function, which is available in Angular core package. And we can pass it the name of the class that is login service. Similarly, we can pass the router And here we will be able to get the router instance. So when we run our application, you can see that our application is working as expected. When we click on the login button, we are basically calling the login service and navigating using the router. So both these services are available within the login component. So since the inject function is accessible within any initialization context, we can use the inject in the property initialization phase itself. So here we can directly give this so that we needn't split this logic into two places. So here we can directly assign the value to our private properties and it will have the same effect if we go to our login page and try to log in. You can see that it works as expected. Now one major advantage of using the inject function is when it comes to the base classes. So here you can see that the login component actually extends a base component. So here if you go you can see that this base component basically what it does is it takes care of automatically unsubscribing from observables and it is logging a message when it does this action. So you can see that there is a dependency for the logger service within the base component and since the base class basically makes use of this dependency, we have to pass the dependency from where whichever components we extend the base component. So this is a major disadvantage while making use of inheritance and using the new inject function we can totally remove this. So how can we do that? So here what we can do is we no longer need to inject the logger service within our concrete class that is the login component and even we can remove the constructor itself and we can go to the base component and here what we can do is we can move the logger as a property and here we can make use of the inject function and get the logger service. So in this way we can totally avoid the passing of the dependencies from the concrete class to the base class. So this is one major advantage of making use of the inject function. Similarly we can remove all the dependencies within the other classes which has extended the base component. So here I am removing the logger. 
and you can just call the super without passing any parameters and here here as well we can do the same thing we can move the dependencies to the property initialization and we can get the home service or whatever dependency we need by making use of the inject function and in effect we can remove the constructor of our component so now when we refresh our application you can see that both the login component as well as the home component is working as previously so one limitation of the inject function is that this will be available only in the initialization context so what does it mean so suppose here instead of initializing this router i try to initialize this here where i am actually making use of the router so here i am going to assign the value to the router property by making use of the inject function so here you can see that actually it is not within the constructor or any other initialization context but it is actually on the login method which is called when we click on the login button so let's go to our login page and i am going to click on the login button so now you can see that angular throws an error which says that inject must be called from an injection context such as constructor a factory function field initializer or a function used within the environment injector so these are the four places where basically we can call the inject function to get a instance of the service so this way of injection is not possible so i have reverted the change so as you previously saw from the error message which angular threw the another place where we can make use of the inject function is within a initialization factory so the use factory is one such place where we will be basically initializing a provider based on some conditions or based on some value so here i have created a logger service factory which is basically creating a an instance of the logger service based on some configuration so within the configuration what we have given is if we go to the config is basically an injection token and it defines the interface that is app config so it consists of a log type which is an enum so either it can have the default value and another is the client value so in case it is default what we are doing is based on this value within the logger service factory by default it will create an instance of the logger service class itself in case it is the log type client we will be creating a separate class so this is a client logger service which will have the name client logger service whenever we log a message in the normal logger service it will be having the name logger service itself so this is the function of this factory so let's see how we can make use of inject in this context and remove these dependencies so one thing is that we depend upon this particular config which is the value which basically decides which instance of the class we need to create so what we can do is that we can directly inject this using the inject function and we can pass the name of our injection token here so it basically removes the necessity of passing the dependency in the dependency array which we define here so we can just remove this and since we are directly injecting the config the logger service factory should work as previously so let's see this so now our service would have been created so when i click on submit you can see that the client logger service has been created so this basically depends on the value which we use here 
so in case i make use of the default one when i refresh automatically you can see that the logger service instance has been created so this is another place where we can make use of the inject function so the inject function accepts a second parameter which is basically quite similar to the dependency injection decorators which we have currently so the commonly used decorators are at the rate skip self at the rate self at the rate host and at the rate optional so the same functionalities we can achieve through the inject function so now let's explore these options so first what i am going to do is that i need to inject a logger instance for this particular component so since globally we are making use of the client logger service in this particular home component alone i need to access the logger service so what i am going to do is i am creating the logger instance so i am making use of the inject and i pass the logger service so that i will get an instance of the logger service itself but you can see that when we refresh our application still we are getting a client logger service itself this is because even though we required the logger service since we are making use of the factory pattern that is use factory we will be receiving the topmost level client service instance so in case we need to limit this search of the dependency injection to our particular component that is this component providers what we can do is we can pass the option so the different options are host optional self and skip self so we are going to limit the search to the current component so we are giving it as self so once we define this when we refresh our application you can see that the no provider for logger service is error is thrown and in order to fix this what we can do is we can register this logger service within our providers array of the component so now when we come to the home component you can see that we get an instance of the logger service even though the global instance is of the client logger service which is available in other routes like our login route so the new inject function is quite a powerful tool which can have various applications within an angular project so hope you are able to get a good idea about how we can make use of the inject function within an angular 14 application see you soon thank you